What's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning into my YouTube. I am super excited to um, walk you guys through a 12-week prep with me. Um, the show that I am targeting for is the SAC Pro. Um, I'm showing you guys plyometrics and a lot of calisthenic work that I am going to be doing to get my heart rate up instead of um, cardio. I'm going to be um, doing a lot of plyometrics and calisthenics, um, probably about three to five days a week instead of uh, my normal cardio routine. Um, the reason being is because I'm trying to keep as much much muscle as I can, and me being so tiny, um, I would rather be uh, doing plyometrics instead of uh, cardio. So this is something new that I am trying this prep, and so far, so good. In a minute, you guys will be seeing my 12-week progress pictures, and also I will be covering supplement, nutrition, and a lot more in detail. So stay tuned, you guys. I will be going over my 12-week progress step-by-step uh, -step and letting you guys know um, everything that I'm doing. Thanks for tuning into my channel and thank you guys all for the love and support that you guys show me. It really uh, means a lot to me. I am actually going to show you guys, um, give you guys like a overview on how my 12 week prep is actually going to go. A lot of people um, told me that I shouldn't be prepping um, anymore just because of a lot of the opportunities and stuff I've gotten um, recently with shreds, um, moving to Southern California and stuff like that. But honestly, Competing is definitely um, everything to me. Um, it gives me a structured schedule. It keeps me from drinking alcohol. Um, it just really keeps me on track with everything. It's either I'm full on eating healthy and clean, not drinking, or I'm full off drinking beer, uh, doing whatever I want. So for me, competing is a way of life. That's the reason why I've competed in 31 shows. So I've uh, com come to realize since my last show uh, eight weeks ago, I actually was out of the gym because I was so burnt out. It, it had to take me to actually not be in the gym for eight weeks to realize that the gym is everything to me and I actually love the feeling of competing. I love challenging myself. Every morning I get up, I have a goal you know, to get in my cardio, to get in my uh, workouts, to get in all of my meals, to make sure that I'm on point with all of my supplements. So it really does something for me every single day. I actually had a talk with my dad because we're both very competitive people and he competes in competitive dirt bike riding. So we kind of just um, laughed about it that we're both very competitive and that's what drives us every day. Um, so staying motivated for me is actually competing, um, having a goal of, you know, having to have my body look a certain way in a certain amount of time. It's pushing my mind and my body to the limits every single day. And if you guys um, know about competing, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. So basically today, um, I just really wanted to thank you guys for uh, tuning in on my YouTube channel. I'm trying to get better. This is my actual first vlog. Um, so I kind of get camera shy a little bit, but I'm going to get better. Um, I started my YouTube channel probably about five, six months ago, and um, I'm really uh, working on bringing you guys some really good content. Um, so uh, for me, what I've always wanted to do was bring you guys through a 12 week prep with me because um, I have so many girls ask me, you know, how I do things, how I go about my nutrition, my training, my supplements, especially because I'm a, an all natural athlete, meaning I don't take any type of anabolic steroid. I don't take any type of, um, water pills except for expel which is a very uh natural water pill um i don't have a boob job and most uh you know bikini pros at my level do not that i have anything against anybody that you know does any of that stuff but that's just something that i um am passionate about um not you know having any type of drug in my life uh the reason being 
um, is because I was actually raised in a substance abused home. So anything that has anything to do with any type of drug, I don't care what it is, um, I'm 100% against it. Um, I don't judge you if you do it, that's your own path that you're walking, but for me, from the beginning when I first started four years ago, um, for those of you who have, who have actually been following my journey, I started four years ago. I have done 26 pro shows. I've done um, international shows, um, you know, uh, different in different states. Um, and I've also been on the Olympia stage the last two years. This year I will be sitting out. Um, I've had a lot of career opportunities and I just needed to focus on um, some other things and some other areas of my life. Um, so competing was on hold for a few months, but now I'm back at it. Um, I'm actually gonna be at the Shreds booth this year, um, which is gonna be awesome. I wanna actually enjoy the Olympia this year and not have to compete. Um, so that was just a personal decision of mine. I did have points to go, um, but uh, towards the Olympia, I did have points to go, but I chose to sit out. Um, and I'm happy with my choice. Um, the Olympia will always be there. So I wanted to focus on some other things. You guys all know that I got signed with Shreds. I moved to SoCal just recently, um, and a lot of other amazing uh, projects that I'm working on. Um, so I'm excited to bring you guys through a 12 week prep with me. I'm actually doing the SAC Pro Show, which a lot of you are familiar with. Um, I've done the SAC for the last three years. I got um, third my first year, uh, third my second year, and second just last year. So the weekend after that is actually gonna be San Marino, Italy. I, I did Prague last year, and it was my first uh, and only national show, or international show so far, and it was the most amazing experience, hands down. Um, so my amazing company, Shreds, actually now pays for you know all my international shows and everything, so they really make um, this possible for me. So if I'm ready in nine weeks, my body's responding really well already. Um, if I'm re ready in nine weeks, then I will be doing Prague. Um, if not, then I'll just go on to SAC and then Italy as well. I've actually been coaching myself for the last year and a half for about the last 12 show shows of my career. Um, it's the best I've ever done. So I've been really trying to listen to my body, um, go with my intuition, trust my gut, um, which those were things that I actually didn't do in the beginning. Um, and there was a lot of things I knew that were wrong in my nutrition with my coach, with different coaches, stuff like that. So I decided to go on my own. Um, so I've been, I've been coaching myself for the last uh, 12 shows. This time what I'm gonna do uh, with my nutrition, I've, I've eaten clean um, since I've started, but I always knew there was things missing. I never tracked what I was eating. Um, you wanna, it was just being naive, not really uh, studying into what my body actually needs. I kind of just had the, you know, um, the coaches that told me to eat certain things, and you know, I was doing uh, with my last coach. I had before I went on my own. I was doing double days of 45 minutes. Um, I was 105 pounds 10 weeks out, and I, he had me doing two 45-minute uh, sessions, seven days a week without any rest. Um, so it actually did strip a lot of my muscle because um, I'm so tiny, I actually didn't need any, anywhere near close to that for cardio. So um, I'm actually doing things a little bit different. Um, I've, I've always listened to my body, um, but this time um, I am actually going to start tracking everything that I'm doing. Um, as far as the nutrition. So my nutrition, um, my macros right now, when I talk about clean eating and macros, clean eating is um, basically um, the old school way of the old school way of bodybuilding. Um, that's how bodybuilders eat. Um, they never used to track any of their stuff. So basically what macros does, people just think it's all about like pop tarts and all this bad food to match. Um, basically it's your carbs, proteins, um, and fats, but it's actually, it's actually clean eating, um, and it's meeting your macros with clean eating, but not being so 110% and not being able to have one little piece of chip or an extra almond, um, uh, because it's off of your diet. 
Um, as long as it's meeting your macros, it's fine. So um, I found that my body actually needs a lot more calories because it um, I'm pretty small and my metabolism is pretty fast. So everybody's different when it comes to macros. I'm actually gonna do a whole uh, vlog on macros and how I found my macros and stuff like that. But I'm just gonna let you guys know my macros right now. Um, basically my protein's at 117 grams, my carbohydrates are at 212 grams, uh, sugar's at 61 grams, and fat is at 63 grams. So um, I'm on roughly about eight, uh, 1,900 calories right now with my um, with my calories, um, and I'm going to be eating. We'll probably adjusting be adjusting it in the next couple weeks just to see how my body responds to this. Um, but I'm actually doing uh, no type of cardio. Uh, what I'm doing differently because um, I I weighed in at 112 pounds yesterday. Um, and my goal is probably to be at 108 um, on stage um, in 12 weeks and then if my body looks good enough in nine weeks I'll probably be doing the prog show um, but my um, my focus right now is the sack show um, because I placed second there last year um, hopefully I have a chance of winning a show um, for those of you who know that I have um, been competing for a really long time 26 pro shows and I've never won a show I've gotten second multiple times third multiple times top five multiple times, but I've never got a win um, So I'm really um, hoping to win the sack show um, so um, but things happen so um, As far as uh, training, I'm not doing any cardio right now um, at least for the first six weeks I will be doing um, a lot of us uh, like uh, in the morning three to five days a week I'll be doing a uh, calisthenic plyo and circuit training uh, probably for about 30 minutes so I'm gonna kind of do that as my cardio um, I'm gonna uh, switch it up a little bit but I'm not gonna actually be doing any machines of cardio at all I actually like cardio so it's kind of hard for me to stay off the machine but um, I'm gonna try to grow into the show um, as much as I can. Uh, for my training split, a lot of you guys have been asking what my training split is. Um, I am trying to focus on uh, more shoulders in my hammy glute tie-in. Those are my weak points, um, but my normal split is um, quads on Monday, focus uh, on quads, um, and then I'll do a hammy glute the next day, um, and then I'm doing two hammy glute days. So hammy glute, then I'll do back and buys, hammy glute, um, chest and tries and then shoulders my seventh day um, I normally don't have an off day I'm doing something even if it's just fun out like just going bike riding outside or doing a yoga class or running on the beach or something like that like I'm always doing something on my prep I never just have a rest day um, I am normally getting anywhere from uh, 8 to 10 hours of sleep sleep is very important so make sure that you guys are getting your sleep you guys are prepping um, for my supplements um, I am a um, natural bikini pro meaning I don't take any type of anabolic steroid um, I don't even take a fat burner um, I've tried them but it's more for energy um, you have to use them right and um, I mean for the most part I mean it doesn't it's not gonna really burn that much fat honestly um, it's it's you know it's always scopes back to your nutrition and your um, your diet and your um, workouts you know and your nutrition how on point are you with those that's what's gonna you know burn the most fat so um, for supplements right now I'm doing um, I'm doing a uh, the shreds multivitamin um, shreds protein they have a lot of op a few awesome flavors um, shreds BCAA and also the shreds PM builder was which is actually another name or ZMA is another name for it um, it just helps you sleep and recover um, zinc L-carnitine, CLA, and probiotic is something I've been taking. Probiotic is great because um, I've actually felt the difference the last two weeks I've been taking it. Um, I am having a very regular bowel movement now, which is awesome. I know a lot of competitors talk about that, and that's one of the subjects. Um, so uh, probiotic is great. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit of insight on um, what I'm actually gonna be doing for the next 12 weeks. Um, I'm going to be doing posing, posing with you guys, check-ins. Um, I don't send my pictures to uh, any coach, so I'll be being ha held accountable through you guys. Um, so you guys can see my progress and stuff like that um, weekly. Um, and also um, I'll be you know doing posing and stuff like that too and letting you guys know um, 
show you guys how, I pro how I'm progressing and everything. Um, I think that's what I wanted to talk about. Um, yeah, with the macros, I'll get a little bit more in depth with that and I'll let you guys know you know how to find out your own macros and if you guys are eating um, correctly especially for competitors but I mean macros is for you know anybody wherever they're at in their fitness journey um, you don't have to be a competitor um, yeah so thanks guys for tuning in and I will see you guys next week for check-ins